Look at that fish, you guys. Are you guys ready to see what's inside? Here we go. Oh. <sighs> Well, good morning, everybody. Fish Guy Jack here, y'all. We're back at you with another video, and today is a highly requested video. We're going down to the vending machine today. I'm sure y'all are excited for this one. You guys will absolutely love when we go down there. So, we're gonna start our morning off right now. It's bright and early. I'm gonna take a look at my watch. It's about 7.30 a.m., baby. We're up and early, and we're starting our day the right way with some fish. Ugh, good morning, y'all. How is everybody doing? Everybody's up early before I even am up. There's Bolt, everybody doing well. Let's go ahead and feed the tank. I'll take y'all through a little morning routine. I always start my days feeding my fish. So we're gonna go ahead and use these pellets right here. I gotta get some more soon because I'm running a little low, but let's feed these guys, get a little breakfast in them. You all ready for some breakfast? I know Spike is. Spike's always first up, first ready to eat, baby. I take a handful about that, sprinkle it all throughout the tank because everybody loves eating these pellets. There we go, here we go. Who wants them? Bolt will get some, everybody will get some. Here comes Simba. Simba's even eating the pellets now, you guys. This fish has really come out of its shell and he's doing much better now. There's Pennywise grubbing on him. Let's make sure Spike and Bolt get some as well. There y'all go, there goes everybody. And there goes the blue line, Zeus. Everybody eats, just take all these, throw them inside there, just like that. And we'll save about, eh, I'd say about five of them, four. Casper the axolotl. These guys are absolutely grubbing on those pellets. And you know what? The eel is almost like a catfish now. He's gonna go and clean the rest of those up because you know what? If he doesn't really eat, here he goes. He's going to the other side. He's on the sand trail. He's on the sand trail. There he goes. Watch. He will eat every single solitary one of those pellets. I mean, these fish are so awesome that they eat pellets. It makes things a lot easier on yourself. You don't always have to defrost shrimp every day. And you know what? If I can get away with a couple days of just feeding pellets, you sure as heck want to. There he goes, and there's only one more left. Let's see if he'll find it. There he goes, he got it. All right, let's go get Casper up. All right, here we go. There is Casper. Casper, good morning, buddy. Look at you. I think we really gotta get you some friends, all right? Take a couple of those pellets. Actually, the remaining amount of them, throw them all in there, and let's wait till he eats. Probably the strangest fish that I know is Casper. I mean, seriously, look at that. Look at the tail. Look at the gills on him. I mean, that creature is absolutely prehistoric looking. Oh! Oh, he just ate a pellet, baby. There you go, little breakfast for you. You gotta start that belly. Get it going, get him up, get him running. Make sure he gets that good, good food in, because we want to get this guy big. Come on, you want that other one too, Casper? Come on. Oh, looks like he's gonna eat this other one here. Come on, come on, find it, buddy. Eat it. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Good morning. Casper's something special, let me tell you what. Okie doke, everybody is fed. Tank lights are on. I'll see you guys when we're down at the vending machine. We are decked out in the long sleeves, y'all. Because guess what, it's like 48 degrees this morning. We're heading up to the vending machine right now. We're gonna go see how it is. Last couple times we've been here, it has not been stocked. Everything's been dead. So hopefully this time, we're looking good. Let's go. Okay guys, we're here. This thing was last serviced yesterday, which is always great news, okay? It's always great news. Saltwater fish, mystery fish, do not press. We're gonna make this short and sweet. You guys know the deal here. We're gonna walk out of here with a mystery fish, and we're gonna get home. So let's put this $5 bill in here, nice and crispy. <laughs> this $5 oh, nice and crispy. Yeah, this $5 bill is gonna give me problems all day. You know why? Because it's probably frigid out here. 42 degrees. It's actually 42 degrees, so that 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 bill. This bill is 42 bill degrees. It's pretty much an icicle. Come on. What are you getting to? I'm hitting this mystery fish. You're getting, getting the mystery fish. Get the heck out of here. Alright, alright, sounds good. Okay. Let's hit it. Alright, baby mystery fish. Oh, come on, baby. Look at that thing. Plop. Whopper plopper, oh, baby. That's how we like it. That's sexy, man. Mystery fish. That's baby. sexy. Let's head home and see what's inside. Well, y'all, we're back from the vending machine. I don't know who let me walk out with that horrendous beard, okay? I literally woke up, threw a hoodie on, threw my hat on, and went out the door. But I'm all showered up now, shaved up real nice for this wonderful unveiling right here. The mystery fish from the live fish vending machine, baby. Mwah! I don't wanna kiss it because you know what? We've got some pretty gnarly stuff from that vending machine, but there's something inside here that will hopefully make my day. We're not gonna play any games right now, y'all. We got a live fish inside this right here. Why wait any longer when we can just open it up and see what's inside? So let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh baby. That, my friends, is something I personally have not owned in a very, very long time. This right here 
is just a normal clownfish right there. Nemo, basically. Probably a fish that you guys have seen many times in many different aquariums. I mean, it's probably the most bought aquarium fish in the aquarium fish hobby. The standard clownfish right there, Nemo right there. Take a look at that guy. That, my friends, is a very, very pretty fish, but we gotta think about where we're gonna put this. I think we might put it in the octopus aquarium for now, and then here's where it gets fun and interesting. Hear me out here, y'all. I've been thinking literally what to do with this tank stand right here. Right now, all we have is the albino axolotl tank. We still have room for another aquarium, but for me personally, I'd rather have one big aquarium on side here rather than two little ones. Like I've said in the past, you can get bigger fish, you can get more fish, and uh, honestly, a bigger tank, win-win situation. So I've been thinking, what do I wanna do here? Do I wanna get a 55 gallon aquarium? Do I wanna get a 29 tall? What do I wanna do? Do I wanna do salt water? Do I wanna do fresh water? But I've been leaning more towards salt water and I've been leaning more towards just a community tank. But let me know what you guys think of that suggestion down below because I wanna get what you guys wanna see on the channel, whether it's a 30 gallon tank with just one fish, Let's make it freaking sick. You guys let me know what fish you guys wanna see on the channel and I'll do my part and make it happen. But for now, the clownfish is going in the octopus aquarium, so let's get him in there. Okie dokie, buddy, you are going inside my new aquarium. Okay, come here, buddy. You gotta, if you're gonna do this, y'all, you gotta make sure you wet your hands so you do not take the slime coat off the fish. That is super crucial to keep your fish healthy. Take a look at that little guy right there. Absolutely beautiful. And in he goes. Take a look at that guy right there. We're gonna name him Nemo. Enjoy your tank, buddy. I can't wait to see you get big, baby. Well, there you have it, y'all. The vending machine strikes again, and you just can't beat it. In my past few videos, I've been giving you guys updates on how the pond is doing after winter, and take a look. We got the sunshade up now, y'all. The blue thing is completely off the pond, and the water is beginning to clear. You guys can see all the fish. Now, we definitely still have a little bit of a cloudiness to the water, but it looks so much better now. Take a look. Take a look at it now, you guys. Back to normal, looking very, very nice. And I do have some shrimp over here to feed these guys. So let's see who is hungry. I know this peacock is, watch this. These fish are literally the best, the best of the best. I have that peacock right there inside of my tank. Oh, here's Jeremy, here's Jeremy. Come here, buddy. Come on, you want a shrimp? There you go, buddy. Willie, Willie, you want shrimp? Come on, who's getting that? Who's getting that shrimp? Who's gonna get that shrimp? Oh my God, the koi, predator koi, predator koi. Here we go. Who's getting all these? Who wants more? The tarpon, look at the tarpon, look at the tarpon. Oh, that was epic. Oh my God. Come here, Willie. Oh, come here. Oh, baby. Look at that fish, you guys. Ridiculous, these guys are crazy. Look at Willie, that fish is massive. Massive, all right, who wants this last one? I think we gave it to the tarpon. Come here, buddy. Go get that one, come on. Gone. Coolest fish that swims in the ocean by far. One of my favorite fish to catch. You seriously cannot beat a tarpon, and especially since you can have them. That's not an Atlantic tarpon. A lot of people get that confused. Atlantic tarpon you're not allowed to have here in the state of Florida. And uh, so that one right there is an Indo-Pacific, which only gets about 20 pounds. So he's probably about a little past halfway of what he's gonna be full grown. This pond is ridiculous. The water's gonna clear up. It's gonna be back to normal. It's gonna be nice. Summer's coming around the corner. We're gonna have warm water. It's gonna be beautiful, you guys. And these fish just keep on getting bigger. It's like, uh, they're like my children. You just gotta feed them, and watch them grow up. They're growing up pretty fast. Now, y'all, it's time for some shout outs, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go right down the order. We're gonna go YouTube, Instagram, Discord. Here we go from the YouTube. Shout out to Hobbs Outdoors. From the Instagram, shout out to Jason MX. And from the Discord, shout out to Gameboy342. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you guys so much. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. I'm feeling good back from COVID. I also want to mention that I had that vending machine footage since Barb's Buzzin' and Fish Guy Chris uploaded their videos and I just never got around to editing it because I was sick. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lay in bed and sleep. But we're back to normal. We're feeling good. We're feeling great. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love all you guys so much. I'll catch you in that next one. Peace out.